First things first. Definition of speech and language impairment. Speech and language impairment is defined as a communication disorder that adversely affects the child's ability to speak, understand, read, and write. This disability category is divided into two groups. Speech impairment and language impairment. Prevalence. Speech and language impairment has high incidence disability. Approximately 20% of youngsters receiving education services for speech and language disorders. Characteristics Speech impairments There are three basic kinds of speech impairments. Articulation disorders Fluency disorders Voice disorders Articulation disorders Articulation disorders are errors within the production of speech sounds that will be associated with anatomical or physiological limitations within the skeletal, muscular, or neuromuscular support for speaking. These disorders include omissions, substitutions, distortions, fluency disorders. Fluency disorders are difficulties with the rhythm and timing of speech characterized by hesitations, repetitions, or prolongation of sounds, syllables, words, or phrases. Common fluency disorders include stuttering and cluttering. Voice disorders. Voice disorders are characterized by abnormal production and forward slash or absence of vocal quality, pitch, loudness, resonance, and or duration. Language impairments. We have five basic areas of language impairments. 1. Phonological disorders. 2. Morphological disorders. 3. Semantic disorders. 4. Syntactical deficits. 5. Pragmatic difficulties. Phonological disorders are defined because the abnormal organization of the language system, or a big vocalization or perception. Morphological disorders are defined as difficulties with morphological inflections, on nouns, verbs, and adjectives that signal different forms of meaning. Semantic disorders are characterized by poor vocabulary development, inappropriate use of words, and or inability to grasp word meaning. There will be restrictions in word meaning, difficulty with multiple words meaning, excessive use of nespecific terms, Indefinite references. Syntactic deficits are characterized by difficulty in acquiring the foundations of grammar like subject verb agreement. Kids produce shorter and fewer sentences than their peers. Pragmatic difficulties are characterized as problems in understanding and using language in several social contexts. Kids may lack an understanding of the principles for creating eye contact, respecting personal space, requesting information, and introducing topics. Impact on learning. Delay or disorder in speech and language may need little or no impact on daily living and socialization or to grasp and use language. Teaching strategies. All students who receive education services, it's important to have a collaborated team. Students with speech or language disorder will receive services from many education professionals, including education teachers, and speech-language pathologists. What does speech-language pathologist provide? SLPs provide a range of professional services aimed toward helping people develop effective communication skills. These services may include Helping children with articulation disorders to find out proper production of speech sounds. Assisting children who stutter to talk more fluently. Helping people with aphasia to bring back speech and language skills. Assisting individuals who have difficulty swallowing as a result of illness, surgery, stroke, or injury. Evaluate, select, and develop augmentative and alternating communication systems. Enhancing communication effectiveness. The education teacher should work with the speech language pathologist, SLP, to include strategies to assist the generalized strategies mastered in therapy. The overall education and education teacher should both collaborate with the SLP for interventions and teaching strategies.